Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee. If you're new, today's video as the title states are going to be my top five favorite spiritual books that I've ever read. I read quite often, so I've read a lot of spiritual books. I used to be really, really, really into like the law of attraction and that kind of side of spirituality. I'm a little bit older and more mature now. I've been through way more and to me, spirituality is very deep. It's very like personal. I don't like those kind of hokey pokey materialistic kind of spirituality books. So if that's what you're looking for, not this video. This video is going to be very deep books, books that like literally make you question, think, like dive more into your subconscious and just like the world and like being human and emotion and all that kind of stuff and how we handle all of it. Not so much how to get rich quick or magic or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and dive in. I have a list here on my phone. I actually live in a studio apartment. So all my books that I've read are at my mom's house who lives in a different state. So I don't actually have the books with me, but I went through the past three years and I found five spirituality books that I feel like everyone should read at least once in their lifetime. So the first one that I've ever kind of had those like aha moments with that I was instantly drawn to and radically changed my life is A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. Now I know that he has another really big popular book called The Power of Now. I wasn't a fan of that one so much I think because he wrote that one before A New Earth. So A New Earth is like more, I think he dove a little bit deeper into his spiritual journey so he was more wise when he wrote it. Now A New Earth is very intense. I felt like when I read it I would read a sentence or a paragraph and I would have to pause and kind of just like think for a second and it was just so intense. It took a while to read but it wasn't necessarily because I didn't want to pick it up. It was just so intense and like so profound and literally drastically changed the way I think. Really really good spirituality book for people who are already kind of on a spiritual path and have learned a little bit more about that kind of stuff. It's definitely not a beginner's book. It's about basically the concept of how your thoughts work and how we're the like subconscious behind our thoughts. Like there's our thoughts, but we're not necessarily attached or even part of our thoughts. Like we kind of look at it as that person who hears your thoughts. It's a really, 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 really good book. I'm gonna read a little bit about the book on Goodreads. A spiritual guide transcending your ego-based state of consciousness to allow personal happiness, end conflict and suffering. It goes deep into emotions such as anger, jealousy, unhappiness. It's a super, super philosophical book. It's a great, great book. And all the books I've mentioned will be linked in the description box if you guys want to get them for yourselves. So that's my number one. Not number one, but that's one of them. <laughs> I, these are in no specific order. The second one is You Are a Badass. So this was my first ever I think spiritual kind of more in depth book in terms of looking at myself and my personal journey and like the way I think and stuff. This is definitely a beginner's book. I always tell people who are not self-help or non-fiction book readers to start with this one because it's very realistic. It doesn't go too deep. It's very surface level, but I think that's a really good way to start and kind of dip your toe into the spiritual world. Jen Sincerco, Sincerco, I think that's how you pronounce it, is very good at kind of giving you no BS. She states it like it is. It's very simple. It makes you want to go out and do stuff. It's a really, really, really good motivational book. What I remember from it is she does kind of touch a little bit on the law of attraction and like how you can manifest and attract certain things in your life. She does a really good job at explaining it for everyday life. It's not so hokey pokey, which I, I've read a lot of spiritual books where they take that kind of concept and make it into something that's just so out there and crazy. It's a how-to guide. She's a world traveling success coach, probably not world traveling right now. It will help you identify and change your self-sabotaging beliefs and behaviors that stop you from getting what you want, blast past your fears so you can take exciting risks, figure out ways to make some damn money already, learn to love yourself and others, set big goals and achieve them. It's really good and kind of changes and shifts your mindset. Definitely a good beginner book. Third one is The Wisdom of Sundays. So if you guys know anything about Oprah, she is so into her spiritual journey and she's had so many different guests, literally from celebrities to gurus to like spiritual teachers. I would love to dive into her brain because she's talked to so many different influential people and has kind of understood and literally like interviewed and questioned them on what makes them them. Her mindset is just filled with all these amazing 
people and their ideas and concepts and she really dives deep so imagine taking her like most profound interviews and translating them over to a book that's what the wisdom of sundays is she takes like her most profound lessons and their little short inserts of what she's taken away from those interviews and those people and that's why i really like it it's because it doesn't really elongate anything that's unnecessary like she just dives into like this person taught me this and it's like a paragraph form the next page is from a different person and it's a really good coffee table book it's a really good book also it's just filled with the most wise of the wise people so it's called the wisdom of sunday's life-changing insights from super soul conversations so she had a television show called super soul sunday she said if you want to be more fully present and live your life with a wide open heart this is the place to come to she's had so many different aha moments of inspiration and soul expanding insight from all these millions of enlightened people a powerful step towards your spiritual journey there's tons of beautiful photography as well that is included in there that's why i say it's a really good coffee table book as well it's just stunning like it's the most amazing book i really really like that book the next one is probably my favorite book ever literally ever fiction nonfiction, anything and that is life after life this is a book that I read a couple years ago and I'm very into near-death experiences. I remember me and my brother used to watch them all the time on TLC. They would be like freaking show. I forgot what it was called, but basically these people had near-death experiences. If you aren't familiar with a near-death experience, it's basically when people pass away, like their heart stops, their brain activity stops, yet they like experience this other world. People all around like scientists, spiritual people, like literally just normal everyday people will study these studies and they all have the same similar kind of concepts like there's certain parallels within everyone's story um and they all come from different backgrounds you know different religions different genders different stories they live in different places of the world there has to be some truth to it you know he's a scientist and he studies like hundreds of cases of these near-death experiences and he kind of summarizes them into the main points that are parallels within everyone's story for example a lot of people see a tunnel a lot of people hover over their body before they pass a lot of people see past relatives um, a lot of people see like a flash before their eyes like a big light a lot of people see a reel of their life like that's what they say my life flashed before my eyes it's insane and it's so freaking interesting if anything like if you don't even really care or believe it it's such an interesting book there's a few chapters in the beginning that he explains Explains kind of the science behind the near-death experience which to me which to me was a little bit boring but if you dive deeper into the book that's when he goes through everyone's kind of journey it is a great book it made me like not really afraid of death it makes me question what else is there and if there's like parallel universes is there another spiritual realm and it's like consciousness like it's it's so thought-provoking to read that one there's actually a documentary on netflix right now they actually mentioned the book as well he's the father of the modern near-death experience movement it changes the way we think about death and what lies beyond groundbreaking study of 100 people who experienced clinical death and were revived and who tell their own words what lies beyond death it's Oh, good. Oh, the last one that we have is Stillness Speaks, and this is another Eckhart Tolle book. I really liked this one because it was really quick and fast. So if you really want to read an Eckhart Tolle book, but you feel like A New Earth is too in-depth and it's going to take you too long, try Stillness Speaks. It's kind of the same idea and concept as Wisdom of Sundays by Oprah, where he'll kind of have main quotes and points from his other books. They're just like quick, fast. You read them and you're like, holy crap, like I want to tweet all of these, you know? I just liked the way that that one was laid out a little bit better because it's quick. I feel like a lot of spiritual books, like they just accentuate such a simple topic that like, I feel like someone could tell you like just a sentence and it's up to you to kind of understand and grasp your idea of it. Whereas I think a lot of books kind of just keep it going unnecessarily and it just gets a little bit repetitive or it kind of takes away from the moment of that one sentence. And so these sentences in his books are just so crazy that there's you don't even need to explain it. If you explain it, I feel like you're just doing it a disservice, you know? This book, of course, uses words which in the act of reading become thoughts in your mind, but those are not ordinary thoughts. Repetitive, noisy, self-serving, clamoring for attention. The thoughts within this book don't say, look at me, but look beyond me. Because the thoughts came out of stillness, they have power. It is the stillness that will save and transform the world. I freaking love Eckhart Tolle. I wonder if he's like gonna make another book soon. Those are the most amazing life-changing spiritual books that I've ever read. I have yet to find any really good new ones. If you guys know any good ones that are similar to these that you think I would like, pop them in the comments down below. I'll definitely shop around because I'm looking for new ones. I've picked up a few here and there 
and I'm just like not connecting with them as much. I don't know if it, these are just so amazing that like the other ones just aren't doing it for me or if I'm like in a totally different mindset. Who freaking knows? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys all in a future video. Love you.